Hi, this is Glenn Doreen, Senior Technology Editor for Popular Mechanics. Today we're going to be doing a drop test on four portable hard drives, and we're going to start them at two feet off the ground and keep on raising them until every last one of them breaks. So the first one we're going to try is iOmega's 250 gigabyte Ego. The iOmega Ego says that it can take, uh, in its specifications, a drop of up to 51 inches. Five feet, 60 inches. And we're going to try it from nine and a half feet now. At nine and a half feet, the non-ruggedized iOmega Ego has actually bit the dust. It uh, doesn't show up on any of our computers, and you can actually see a mild bit of separation on the case. Next we have Western Digital's 250 gigabyte passport. So from 51 inches, here goes the Western Digital drive. Our Western Digital passport uh, apparently didn't uh, weather the 51 inch drop too well, although it is still working. It does have a little bit of case damage right there, but since it's still working, it's got to go to the next level, and that means we're going to drop it from 60 inches. After a 60 inch drop, it has ceased to work on either our, our MacBook computer or our Sony VAIO laptop computers. Next we have Lacey's 250 gigabyte ruggedized all-terrain disk. 51 inches. Let's see how it goes from 60 inches, 5 feet. 9.5 feet. So, we've run out of ladders or everything else to stand on. The only other option we have is to throw them up all the way to the ceiling, which is 15 feet off the ground, and then let them drop back onto the concrete. The Lacey ruggedized drive fought the good fight and survived up until our humongous drop of 15 feet. Next, we have iOmega's Ego with the power grip band. So the ruggedized uh, iOmega Ego survived 51 inch drop and its maximum spec is supposed to be 60 inch drop. So uh, let's take it from 60 inches. From nine and a half feet. Here's the iOmega. We promise you we'd destroy each and every one of them. So we asked this fine gentleman over here if he would uh, drive over the iOmega with his truck tire. So uh, here we go. So we dropped it from up to 15 feet onto concrete and then eventually ran over it with a truck. And miraculously, the iOmega drive still works. It's spinning, and up it comes. <laughs> <laughs>